So these are some of the things I want you to think about. Are you doing enough? And so what do I really mean? I'm going to go back to leadership moments. What do I really mean? I mean, because you might be thinking, okay, well, what's he really saying? What can I do that would be different? I'll tell you what you can do. I call it the Socratic approach. Okay? When people are saying things that are dysfunctional, I make them unpack it. I don't let them get away with it. I ask, as soon as they say something, I say, you look confused. What did you mean? And people, pardon me. If I'm with a group of young men, if my son's in a conversation, if I walk in, if I hear any reference to, to girls or women as bitches, if I'm with a group of males and I hear them refrain, like in my classes, I hear uh, a young man raise his hand and he'll make a, or a young woman, and he'll make a reference to something that happened downtown in Plattsburgh. You don't even want me to go to what can happen in downtown Plattsburgh. Okay? <laughs> but, but if there's a reference there, and I hear the reference is including a girl, I immediately ask the question, how old was she? And now, and Alan took the class. So there's quite a few people in there who, who uh, Alan TA the class with me too. There's quite a few people in there who know I do this diligently. Okay, I don't let you get away with that. Because my, first off, I happen to have a daughter and I want her to move into a world that doesn't have this kind of crap being leveraged against her, even overtly or covertly. Oh, you took the class too, the high school version too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You got to get in the game. You got to care enough to push the envelope and challenge people. And I call that a leadership moment, where where you understand that you don't want to you don't want to take somebody's energy away and not convert an ally. Okay. So you got to find a way to get inside the conversation and challenge people in some subtle but yet philosophical ways, yet profound ways. So I just use the 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 example of you girls. And uh, this applies to, to anything that you think is a little odd and that needs to be challenged, then challenging dysfunctional language is one of the ways you can make a large impact on an individual or on a community. And I know this for a fact because I've been teaching this class, Examining University through Film, for now, I think I've taught it 18 or 20 times. I can't say 18 or 19 times because obviously it's across a certain amount of years and I'm Okay. But I've taught, I've taught this class for a long time, okay, and I have the students writing the papers, I'm hearing the conversations, I know it's a game changer. Okay? Your leadership moment will come about when you have the intestinal fortitude, the intellectual courage, whatever it takes for you to be able to, to ask the person, a Socratic, the, the Socratic approach, ask the person the question, what do you mean by that? And the person will say, uh, oh, well, uh, where it's not that serious. Say, well, it actually is that serious because I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand. And once you've done that, what will happen? The person, and you don't let the person off the hook. <coughs> not mean spirited about it. The person will leave you rattled because you call them on their use of bitch. You call them on their use of bag. You call them on girl. You push them in some different ways. People do not like to feel stupid. Nobody likes to feel stupid. So if you challenge people to unpack their baggage, unpack their language you'll start to make serious inroads. And really, guys, when you hear somebody saying you guys, I'm not saying a server at the restaurant necessarily, because you can rock that person's world and ruin their whole day. And we're not, we're not trying to do that. But you can still, every now and then, one out of 10 times, philosophically, I'll, I'll ask. I'll, as I'm leaving, I might pull the server over and say, just, just for the record, I'm just curious. Uh, you always just say you guys? Have you ever tried you girls? They said, what? I said, well, think about it, Donald. If you're in the habit of saying you guys, there are going to be some women that are not going to appreciate that. So just thought I would put that out there for you, something you think about, and I'm gone. And so then they're either doing that, about the, you know, or, or they're going, wow, I rather like that child. <laughs>